Hey there, Dan of Dr. Dan's Biodiesel here. We're going to talk about biodiesel and a multitude of different vehicles. And today's vehicle is Power Stroke Diesel. This is a, one of the early generation 7.3 liter Power Strokes. This one happens to be a, a 97. Um, very complex diesel, um, but it seems like biodiesel just fine. This is kind of like an early version of common rail. Uh, but it's a uh, hydraulically, electrically controlled uh, injector, so it's a pretty wild setup. Uh, biodiesel gets blamed for every problem in the world, especially when the 6 liters first came out. Uh, those trucks had so many problems, and of course about everybody in this area is running biodiesel on it, so they just blamed all the problems on that. Uh, and then when the problems became widespread and known that no matter what fuel put in there, they had issues, um, so those went away. Uh, 7.3 is fairly trouble free. Uh, it will eventually need some fuel hoses uh, from fuel leaks, no matter what fuel that you use, or a lift pump. Um, they have a lift pump that's in the valley of the engine, which is almost underneath the turbo. Uh, see if we can get a shot of it here underneath the light. That's the shiny bit, this is a, um, a new lift pump. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of fuel down in the valley there, along with uh, a ton of m mice droppings. Um, there's some rubber hoses attached to that, that the heat from being underneath the turbo and in the middle of the hottest part of the engine will eventually make them rot. We recommend replacing those with just a good quality biodiesel compatible hose. We use a Trident hose, there's a Gates hose, you know, it's about everybody makes a good biodiesel compatible hose now. Just the, the sticky wicket with this motor is that it's in a very hot area. And there are other hoses that uh, will eventually need to be replaced uh, no matter what fuel that you use. There are some uh, return lines that uh, go to the filter housing. Um, they have this lovely plastic cover on it, and um, so this truck's been using B100 for four years. It's 1997. Um, yeah, I could say Ford sells lots of these hoses, uh, you know, whether you use biodiesel or not. So that's a common problem, and uh, we replace them with these um, stainless steel. Uh, I believe a Teflon liner, and we just go to the hose shop and have them made up. Those will last indefinitely. There's no rubber to, to wear out to, like with those. And here's what the uh, old lift pump uh, looks like. It, uh, fuel comes out of a bleed hole there and uh, fills up the valley. Um, and fuel filter on these. Uh, it's pretty easy to change. It's a fairly well designed filter. We've got this one all taken uh, apart but there's just a big plastic cap in the middle of the motor. You put on a, a tool or you use long screwdrivers and uh, unscrew it like that. And then there has a fairly good size element in there and down in the bottom is a heater, uh, water sensor and a whole bunch of garbage. You need to clean that garbage out when you change the filter. You just can't change the element and not clean out the garbage. You gotta clean out the garbage. Um, I use my favorite uh, tool, the sucker pump. There's a drain on the side of the housing there um, but we're uh, afraid to use those much because the O-rings go bad and then that's something else that you have to replace. But uh, anyhow, most of this is works out all right. Um, this is an older truck with a zillion miles on it. It's the first time it's needed these things. Um, so it works pretty good. Uh, like I say, this truck's been using biodiesel for, I think, a about uh, four years out of its life. Have fun. See you soon.